It's time for Rabbi Minkowitz's Weekly Torah Lesson, a place where life's most difficult questions are answered. Here with his spiritual perspective and insight, Rabbi Minkowitz. Welcome to this week's Torah Lesson. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Matos of Masai. The question of the week is, what is the secret to keeping commitments? So in this week's Torah portion, Parshas Matos of Masai, in the beginning of Parshas Matos, the Torah tells us about the laws of when someone makes a neder, a vow. In other words, a person is, wants to commit to do something, let's say to study something, or to pray, or to help, and he needs a little strength to do it. He says, you know what, I'm making a vow, I'm going to do it. This way, he's committed. He's in the game now. And now he has to act on what he did. So he's taking on an oath to strengthen him to do so. But before it begins, God says, when Moshe Rabbeinu um, spoke to the Jewish people about the laws of vows, so it says that God, the Moshe Rabbeinu spoke to Rashi Hamatos, the head of a mata. Now the Rebbe asked a simple question. We know the Jewish people had shvatim, tribes. And the tribes are called shvatim. So the Torah should have said he spoke to Rosh Hashavet, the head of the Shavet would mean tribe. Now mata also means tribe, like a staff, etc. But why does the Torah use specifically the word mata versus Shavet? And the Rebbe explains as follows. That mata, what's mata? Mata is usually a stick that fell off the tree or got broken off the tree. It dried out, now became the strong stick disconnected from its source. On the other hand, a shavit. A shavit is usually referring to a stick that's still connected because it's connected and has the moisture so it's more softer and it's more flexible, more bending. So the Rebbe explains, since here we're dealing with a person that made a vow and means he wants to find strength to continue and commit to doing what he committed to do. So therefore the Torah uses the term mata, which refers to real power and real strength. So in other words, to answer the question, what is the secret to keeping commitments? To pull out the strength that we have, and which resembles by the name of mata, and this way we'll have the power to fulfill our commitments that we have, whether it's praying, Torah studying, or doing a mitzvah, and by pulling out strength we'll be able to fulfill the commitment that we made. This week's Torah lesson is dedicated to the memory of Baruch ben Ari Leib and Shlomo ben Yosef. May their souls be elevated by the Torah we're studying in their memory. I'd like to wish a special Mazel Tov to our daughter Zeldi on her marriage to Nachmi Rosenberg. Thanks so much for joining us for our weekly Torah lesson. For additional classes at Chabad or any other information, please see our website.